hey guys welcome and what's good welcome back to my channel if you're watching for the very first time my name is stacia and i go by namaste on instagram so if you're interested in keeping up with my day-to-day -day life check me out over there on the gram and show me some low value over there um for those who have been rocking with my channel from the jump you know i got mad love for you and you know <laughs> as you can see by the title of this video we're going to do a collective haul now i've been on youtube watching videos of other youtubers and i've been noticing that many youtubers have been doing this kind of video this fashion video where they show a collection of stuff that they've gotten or purchased from multiple sites and you know <laughs> being stacia i have been doing a little shopping here and there and i wanted to show you guys some of the things that i bought so i purchased a few items from zara from fashion nova and from shein and so i wanted to bring it to you guys this mini haul um this video is no way shape or form sponsored though i wish it were and yeah so i'm going to be showing you guys what i got i ordered some stuff from aliexpress but you know aliexpress being aliexpress sis we're gonna have to wait until that arrives and i'll see how that goes if it is that you don't see a link to the item in the description bar box below simply means that it's sold out can't do anything about that sis not my company sorry in advance all right so without further ado let's jump right into the video okay so the first thing i wanted to show you guys is what i'm wearing so i got this uh padded shoulder uh crop top from Zara so my birthday was on March 9th and a good friend of mine gave me a Zara gift card to purchase a few knickknacks off of Zara so I purchased this right here so it has the the padded uh, shoulder right here and this is definitely untrained this is definitely something that is um, has been untrained so this is it it's a crop top and this is the first item i got i will try to link it in the description bar below it is from the japan website so if you're not from japan or in japan then chances are that link won't apply to you but i'm pretty sure that chances are zara has the same kind of top or similar tops on their website based on the region that you're in because this is kind of a trend worldwide so i got this top and i think i got it in a small no not a small girl bye i got it in a size medium so this is that it's very cute i have an outfit in mind but when i put it together just know it wasn't given what it's supposed to give so i may have to rethink that okay so i got two bodycon dresses from zara so the first one is this yellow rib material it's very stretchy i believe i got this oh it's a u.s medium so i got this in a u.s medium and as you can see it's ribbed material nothing special yellow i thought i, I needed some pop of colors because if it's up to me honestly i'd stick to like neutral colors and nudes and black and black and white so the second dress is I'm not sure what color this is I'm going to go ahead and um, call it lavender I guess some people would say blue but maybe it's blue because it's it's kind of showing up blue on camera so this is a dress this is one of the things I like about this dress is the fact that it I don't know if you guys can see it on camera but it cinches in it comes in at the waist so it kind of helps to accentuate your your waist area if you're someone who cares about that i got this on sale so the price that i'm seeing here is definitely not the price that i paid for so this is what the tag says but this is definitely not what i paid for and even though it's simple this is something you can easily dress up you could wear some combat boots with some white socks a leather jacket and you know a hat if you wanna or if you want to put one of those the white shirt and uh, drop it down in a cute little look yeah and to drop some heels on if you wanna or if you want to wear it as is then that's also fine girl Do and then also from zara i got this very basic top right here very very basic very very simple nothing much to talk about it's zara so the quality is is not bad and yeah i got this in a size medium so this can be wear with some regular jeans or a skirt however you choose this is a basic piece that can be integrated in your wardrobe however you see fit so that's the next thing that i got from zara and then the final thing i went back and forth with myself whether i wanted to buy this but i bought it because 
like I said, I, I'm want, I want to change up how I dress and I'm trying to step a little bit more and more out of my comfort zone this year specifically. So I bought this skirt here. I know it doesn't look like much. It's supposed to have the tie here. Interest and believe I have a look in my head. And since I'm in Japan, it's giving me Tokyo vibes um, with the, the colors and the print. And imagine me with some combat shoes on with um, some very long socks going over the combat boots with my hair in a bun half up half down and some chopsticks with some do you see where i'm going with this with a, a nice black top yes i'm going to show you the top that i got for this one in when i get to the sheeting portion of the video but yes this is what that's the look i was thinking about when i got this all right moving on to fashion over and we are going to go through fashion over very quickly because i only got two things that I can remember that I've gotten over the space of a few weeks. So let me show you guys what I got the first. If you follow me on Instagram or if you watch my birthday video, you would have seen this dress. So I got this very cute of the shoulder dress. And I'm not going to try this on. I'm just going to show you guys a picture of it in the birthday shoe that I had so you guys can see what I looked like in it. So this was that. No, I only wore this for my birthday. It still has a tag on it and everything. Uh, I got it in a size medium, as you can see there. So I got this. I haven't worn it out. If y'all see me out in it, be quiet. Okay. I love this. It has a ruching detail at the side. It has the asymmetrical line. So it has the shoulder pad here, and then it has the asymmetrical cut right across here. So you have you know you're showing us the shoulder hi papi <laughs> konnichiwa yes and it has the shoulder pad here giving it a very rich like i said guys shoulder pads are in do you okay, see the, so the next thing that i got is from fashion nova is a two-piece a uh, pants suit that i wore to graduation this year so this is that it has the corset mesh detail right here. Chotomate Kodasai. See the mesh detail right here, which has also this bone in here. Um, I think the bone in is mere is mostly for the aesthetics. It doesn't really do anything per se, it's just there. But I really do love the detail here, and it also comes with this pants. And I'll insert a picture of what I looked like in the outfit on screen right now. So it comes with this two piece right here and it has like a split right here. No, I liked this two piece outfit. I thought I looked bomb as hell, if I do say so myself. And I got this in a size medium, I think, if I'm not mistaken. But here's the thing, I don't know, I think I could have gone down in a size with this particular one. And even with this, I could have gone down in a size as well. But this specifically, at the waist, it was a little loose. And one of the things I disliked about this two-piece is that it has these things right here. So whenever I walked, this, it wouldn't stay down, like this would keep, this would pop up. And that was grossly annoying to me so i i would say that this is like a six and a half out of ten like the waistline is too big so i would recommend sizing down on this one but i really liked it and you know it was given what it was supposed to give and i made it work regardless because that's what we're going to do okay so for she in we're going to start off with the shoes so the first shoe i got from Shein is this glass ship <laughs> it's this shoe right here focus on this please so it's this right here and it has the seal right here and I really like these but I wish I got it in a euro 42 but I think they run small all right let's back up so typically when you buy shoes that have the pointy toe right here generally the rule of thumb for me at least i don't know if this is an actual rule of thumb but i like to go at least one size or a size and a half to up to two sizes up depending on the shoe right so i got a euro size 42 and while i love the heel it's very easy to walk in 
because this is here and i think i should have i could have this is the largest size i want the largest size but i do feel like i still would need to go up a size more because once i start wearing them after a while my toe my toes here begin to throb and i don't like that feeling and i've been trying very very hard to stay away from shoes that rub against my feet too much but, but i did wear this with my pink dress for my birthday shoot and this was very very inexpensive nice quality don't really have any complaints except for the fact that i wish they had larger sizes and sheen if you're watching this video please we're trying to be cute on a budget but when it comes down to shoes and sheen i feel like it's please please do right by, by the big feet girls you know we want to be cute too we have feelings too okay okay so the next shoe i got are these shoes right here and i really love these and i'm gonna tell you why hold on let me see if i can get this so these are the shoes that i got and like i said i wore i've worn these already now these shoes are for the girls like myself, Stacia, who is a tall girl, 5 feet 11, who does not like to wear heels, that's me, but thinks heels, you know, elevate the looks over here, me, testimony. Now the heels on these are the perfect height for a tall girl or a girl who just doesn't want to, doesn't like high heels or can't manage to wear them for a long period, this is the perfect size. Now, if you are a big feet girl, like I've said, I got this in a Euro size for, and this is the largest size that they had. Now, I love the quality of the shoe. I think the quality is really, really nice. I think the style of the shoe, can you focus? I think the style of the shoe is really, really nice. It has the polka dot detail and the suede detail here. But like I said, if it were, two a size or two larger this would be the perfect heels for me but of course if you have smaller feet then you won't have any problems this is perfect for a professional woman who wants to to have that classy look but also wants to be comfortable really really love these but i wish they were they ran in bigger sizes so that i could have gotten a bigger size but i wore these with my two-piece suit from fashion nova and they were perfect. They were perfect outside of the discrepancy that I spoke about previously. So the last shoe I got, the last pair of shoe I got is these mules right here. So I've been on the hunt for some mules for a very long while, specifically because like I said to you guys in, previously in the beginning of this video, I bought this from Zara and I had a all black look that I had in my head which I've, I've been I want to bring alive so I wanted to wear them with some mules and I got these off of Shein I was looking at ASOS but then I don't know what changed my mind I think I didn't have the size in the shoe that I actually wanted so these are not bad at all the size it's giving me Gucci vibes it's giving me Gucci vibes and I got this in a Euro 40 41 i think this is probably the biggest size that they had and i got it it fits well um if you're white feet i would definitely say that these are white feet friendly i have narrow feet so i may have a problem with that but outside of that i think the quality is not bad at, at all so i bought these to wear with this along with some high-waisted black pants and yeah that's pretty much it i'll leave the link again in the description bar below all right so another thing that i got is this bucket hat and like i said my girl has been trying to step out of her comfort zone so i got this and it's it's supposed to be one of the larger sizes i can't get it fully on my head because my locks are on the bigger end of the of things but I know that if I didn't have the locks on, they would go on very nice or more comfortable. Oh my God, girl, relax. So I got these, the quality is not bad at all. And it has a wavy, the wave sign here, cause you know, we wavy over here. I don't remember how much I paid for it. So I paid 429 yen for these, which is about four or five US dollars. So I got these, which are decent, value for money 
you get what you paid for okay. basically so remember i showed you guys the zara skirt the the red and black skirt so i got this crop top here to wear alongside it has a rib material this actually i didn't expect it to have a rib material perhaps it did say rib on <laughs> i didn't read so the next thing that i got is a two-piece off of Shein, and this is it it's mint so i bought this two piece here and one of the things i did and like i've said in, in many videos before i like to read the reviews to kind of get a get an idea of what the, the item will look like if i were to buy it and the reviews on this say go a size up i went a size up and i got a large i do not recommend going up a size up because at the end of the day i had to have it taken in i had to get it taken in because the waist was loose and the chest area was loose as well i had to get that taken in as well so the next thing i got is a is this joggers right here i got this in a size medium i'm sure yes it's a size medium and i mean it's okay it's not the cheapest material but it's not the most expensive either it has the gathering here at the bottom it has the elastic band waist so i got my true size and i think it fit perfectly based on my own preference and yeah if you are interested in this i'll leave it in the description box all right so we are on the penultimate item so i got a two piece so i got this two piece right here so this is the shorts and i bought this because you know it's heating up now it's getting warmer here in japan and i want stuff like these to wear around the house i know i live alone but i like to be cute and sexy at the same time i like to play music and you know shake my booty <laughs> yes so i bought these i paid like 900 yen for it if i'm not mistaken let me check because i don't want to be telling y'all no lies see it was 989 yen and i got it on sale for 771 yen so i got the two piece right here which i think is the bomb.com very simple and cute you can lounge around in this in the house and you know if you wanna you can add some sneakers to this and wear it out if you feel like like live your best life boo i ain't judging you i ain't stopping you to do you boo do you okay yeah so i got this two piece really like it i definitely would repurchase this in other colors so i can have this to wear around the house all right so the final thing that i wanted to show you guys is the jeans that i'm currently wearing which i got from shein i'm a bit honest with y'all i'm gonna keep it 100 i was a bit skeptical about buying these jeans but i must say that i really do like these jeans they're very comfortable i'm glad i bought the size that i did they don't feel like jeans material either but they don't feel like the, the jeggings material which i don't like and they feel like there's they have elasticity in them which i do appreciate as well it doesn't have real pockets this, these are four pockets right here four pockets and the back has actual pockets everything that i've gotten i really do like them outside of a few sizing issues everything in terms of quality was on par um i haven't done a try on haul or a video like this in a very long while so let me know in the comment section if you enjoy videos like this don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel if you're interested in life in japan as well as fashion content i'm trying to produce more fashion related content videos on my channel as well as on my instagram so if you're interested in that you can stay tuned and keep on watching my channel and subscribe and follow me over there on instagram because <laughs> You know I'm a vibe already, right? You know, okay? So I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Love you guys so much for watching. As always, the link to each item will be in the description box below. Provided that you're still available. I love you guys for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.